And all they need is the opening the size of a dime to squeeze into your home, maybe bringing rabies with them. And this is prime bat time. They love this heat, and when it gets cool at night, they want to sneak into your home for shelter. KTV News Watch 7's Christina Engdahl joins us with our big story at 6. Christina? And Rob, that's the lesson learned here at St. Michael Lutheran Church today. You can see behind me, it's a big building with tall ceilings. That's a regular bat magnet, but Animal Control says even the smallest homes with the smallest cracks will pop up on a bat's radar. This bat may be blind, but it looks like it found the perfect hiding spot tucked up in some church rafters. The gentleman that uh, cleans the church at night told us that there was a bat. He just called and said, oh, by the way, I saw a bat last night. And Pastor Mark Grorud says it didn't take long to find it, even with it hiding up in the shadows, just out of animal control's reach. I know they're wonderful little creatures and they do good, but in a church they're kind of a nuisance. And this one's even a nuisance for the Humane Society. Hannah, do you have any duct tape left over? Hanging out just high enough. They had to build a device to safely fish the bat out. Every year in the middle of August, we get a lot of bat calls. And Mark Langan says this call isn't the first. Calls, he says, that will go well into September. Because he says these little creatures are crafty. All they need is a hole about the size of a dime for them to squeeze into. So especially in the older neighborhoods where maybe the caulking's not as good as a newer house. Even though they look harmless, bats can carry serious disease. You can um, contract rabies either by being bitten by a bat or by saliva transfer. And that's why you have to get them out as soon as possible, even though this one's not going without a flight. Uh-oh, we don't want him there. But eventually the bat did squeeze out, likely the same way it came in. Hopefully gone for good. We'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> so, you, what are you doing tomorrow? You may be back. <laughs> but now Pastor Grorub says that cracks got to go. We'll have the maintenance team come in here and try and patch that up. Now, if a bat does get into your home, there's no reason to freak out. They say just isolate the bat so the Humane Society can come and test it. They say that it's important to do that because of the thousands of bats, bats that they capture in a year's time. They say a couple of them usually do test positive for rabies. Rob? Yeah, so it can be serious. Christina, there is a way to prevent bats from coming in in the first place. Right, and that's just as simple as, you know, going through your home and looking for any cracks or holes. But the trick is not to underestimate how small the hole needs to be because, as you just saw, it doesn't take much space for them to get in. Back to you. All right, Christine Engdahl reporting live. Thanks.